Hello, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to be starting off with my Laura Cellar. This is a primer hydrating cream that I put on my face after I put on my face cream. I will apply that everywhere on my face. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte. Uh, I think that's in Santan, I want to say. I am not sure. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to put that underneath my eye and on my nose and forehead and chin. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in and spray my NYX uh, setting spray on my sponge. And then I'm going to blend out that concealer. So you guys, okay, check this out. I kind of... <laughs> I kind of made a mistake, but we're going to go with the flow. I'm a makeup artist. So um, one thing about makeup, you can uh, you can fix things. I did not want to put on my concealer first. I didn't even want to do my face first. I really wanted to do my eyes, but I had like a brain fog. So we're just going to work with it, sis. So now I'm going to go in my real, with my Real Technique foundation brush. I'm going to spray it a little bit just so that I can blend my makeup a little bit more into my skin. And it's easier to blend. Uh, yeah, so I completely, I don't know where I was at when I did this. So I was like, well, I can't stop now. I got to go with the flow. <laughs> I'm going to go in with NARS and then I'm going to go in with MAC. I'm going to combine those two to kind of get my complexion. I'm um, just trying something new out here. I already mixed it up. I'm going to start applying it on my face. So, you know, you just go in circular motions, uh, up and down. Just blend it in as, as much as you can. <clears throat> I'm going to go back in with that Tarte uh, concealer uh, just because I didn't want to do it originally in the first spot in the first place. So I go back in and reapply it. This time I, I put it on my nose. <laughs> and I'm blending, blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going in with some translucent setting powder from uh, Laura Mercier. And I'm just dabbing that into my skin and brushing, patting, dabbing, brushing, patting. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl and Fawn and put that on my eyelids. <laughs> I kind of got some on the bottom, so I just put some on the bottom of the other eye. <laughs> I have to treat both eye equals. <laughs> Then I'm blending that found, uh, concealer out on my eyelid. Making sure all that's blended. I'm going to go in with my Laura, Laura uh, Mercier uh, translucent powder and, pat that, and pat that powder right on my eyelids to make sure that it is set and that the, found, uh, the eyeshadow can uh, blend and lay properly on my eyelid. Then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in Ebony. I use this stick in particularly just for a contour. Um, you can use it for your whole face, you know, if you like in your, in your, in your shade. Uh, but I'm using it for a contour for me. And, um. Then I'm going to go in with my little uh, sponge and I'm going to blend out that contour that I did on my nose. And I use my fingers too. Using your fingers is really good too. It really makes it easier. Like our fingers are tools too, you guys. Like it just enhances. It's easier. <laughs> Definitely in a part sheet, it's hard for a brush to get in. So I'm just going back, making sure everything is blended in my skin well and it's blended out. Then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill bronzer and mahogany. And I'm going to go over the parts that I put that uh, foundation stick and ebony on just to make sure it's set and it looks really nice and smooth and bronzy. I'm doing the same thing for my nose. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. 
I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on my nose just to highlight it more and I'm gonna brush it up and down so that it can blend Then I'm going to go in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio blush and apply that, those or that powder on my cheeks. Then I'm going to use the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be working with the browns and then that maroon color later on. <laughs> so I'm going to blend that brown in my crease, the lighter brown first. And I'm going to go in with this little burnt orange color and I'm going to put it on top of that brown just to blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with this Color Pop Jelly Much. Uh, I cannot pronounce the name of that color. I know it started with an O, but it's so pretty, you guys. I love it. I love it. You do have to know how to work with it, but it's really pigmented and very pretty. So these light strokes, you just apply that. Um, I do know the more wet it is, the easier it is to apply. So I applied a little setting spray on and I was happy because I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's blending, it's blending. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing on the other eye. And you guys, I want to let you guys in on a little tip. Don't ever feel like it's um, hard, like if you mess up, that you can't correct the look that you did. Because you can. It's, makeup is erasable. Then I'm going to go in with this maroon color. And then I'm going to add that like slightly where I ended the gold and then yeah brush it out a little bit you guys see and I'm blending that in with the eyeshadow I'm blending that in with the eyeshadow blend 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 making sure everything is blended Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be, uh, I did my other eye off camera, uh, just cause my camera paused sometimes. Um, but I did my, uh, that off camera. Okay. So now I'm going to be going in with the Clinique, uh, liquid liner and I'm going to be applying that on my, uh, lash line, close to my lash line and I'm winging it out. Now this uh, liquid liner was really hard to work with, with that eyeshadow, um, but later on I did go in and use the NYX uh, liquid liner. Now I'm going in with my Sephora mascara and I'm putting that on my eye. Then I'm going to go in with this uh, lash that I had. I do not know the name. I have various of lashes uh, that I use. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure where I got that lash. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, <laughs> but let's get right into it. So I'm going to be applying that bad boy on my, uh, lash once it kind of tacky and dry <laughs> a little bit. So I'm applying it. Usually I use tweezers, but lately my fingers been serving me some justice. So I haven't really been using tweezers. I've been lucky. So this is the finished look, you guys, of uh, the eye makeup. I really, really love it, you guys. I mean, you guys can see it on camera, but that gold pops. So I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Brown uh, Eyeliner Pencil. I use that on my lip. I mean, it works. If I don't have a brown, you got to use what you got, you know, until you can get what you can get. So I'm using the brown eyeliner on my lip. And then I'm going to go in with this, I think that's 
tattoo or Kat Von D. Uh, this little lip, lip lipstick sample that I got. Uh, I'm going to use the pink one, the pinkish color that was in the middle. And it, I really like the, the feel of it. It's really soft and pigmented. I really like it. And right now I'm just blending that in, making sure everything looks nice and smooth, up to my liking. I was going to do a gloss lip, but I kind of liked the matte lip, so I left it matte. So you know what? This matte lip is not bad. And this is the final look. I know. I got to spray my face. I decided to put this highlighter on, you guys. Bear with me. Y'all might see me make some funny uh, looks. The highlighter was uh, a little bit much. I'm not really a highlighter type person. So when I did it, I was kind of shocked. <laughs> like, woo, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> As you can see, it is a gold highlight. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you guys might like it though. It was a little bit too much for me, but I mean, it is what it is. It is pretty. Uh, and I got that from Glit Your Life, I believe. Yep. So this is the final look, you guys. Go ahead and look at that. It's really dope. Like, I was in love with this look. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so bomb. The wig, you guys, my wig is from uh, this girl named Nashayla. If I can remember, I will put her information down too, but I love the wig. It's custom made. Uh, so, yes. I need to get another one, but I love it. I done styled it three different ways, so it's really bomb. There's that makeup. Yes, yes.